boys and girls, the junk man here with another video. And in this video, I'm going to make someone's Christmas. Someone's going to end up happy because of this video. And the reason why is because I'm going to save you some money. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. As a matter of fact, I, I can tell you when I first wanted to do it is was at the beginning of COVID. So there's been a long daggone time that I've been wanting to do this video. I just never got around to it. Uh, story of my life. But uh, I'm finally getting around to it. And what it's going to be about, what it's going to be about, and I'm going to give you the title, but to those of you who don't know what it is, it ain't going to make no sense. Okay. It's called IPTV. That's IPTV. It stands for Internet Protocol Television. Basically what that is, is television over the Internet. Now, everybody watching this video has heard of Netflix. Netflix is movies over the Internet. Well, they also have TV over the internet. You can watch TV, and a lot of you are already aware of this, uh, TV across the internet. But now, here's where the kicker comes in. There are IP TV services out there on the web, hundreds of them you can subscribe to. You can subscribe to these channels for free, for like a week. They'll, they'll, some of them give you a week to try them out, see if you like them. And you can see, if I like it, you'll go ahead and buy a subscription. Now, here's the deal. Some of you are paying $150, $200, $300, $400 for cable TV. The junk man is looking at you folks like, Good Lord, you need your head checked. Here's why. You pay like an ungodly price for basic cable with no frills. And then when you ask for a movie channel or something like that, you pay some ungodly rate. And like if you got like all the channels, you pay, oh, it's just ridiculous. I have not had cable TV for probably three years. I cut the cable three years ago, haven't looked back since. So what do I use? IP TV. I watch TV across the internet using an IP TV service. If you Google ITPV services, IT, <laughs> I'm gonna say this will be times and get mixed up. IPTV services. If you Google that, you find man, all kinds of them out there. Now, there was a time when some of them weren't doing what they su were supposed to do and they got shut down because, you know, they're supposed to pay royalty fees and all this kind of stuff. I don't understand all that part. Uh, but they got shut down. So now the ones that are remaining, I'm thinking they're only up and up. Uh, I know the service that I use, which I won't mention. Uh, I flat out asked them. I'm like, is this legal? <laughs> like, is this legitimate? And I was told by the owner of the service, oddly enough, that it's only legal in the U.S. Now, the Internet is all over the world. It's everywhere. So the way this service works is if you have an Internet connection and the equipment you need, you can watch TV. Now, like I said, the service I use, they say it's only for the U.S., but man, there are so many of them out there. So many of them out there. So basically, the way it works is you subscribe to a service. I pay $15 a month. $15 a month. And just off the top of my head, because I can't remember what the number is, I get like 8,000 channels, some some crazy number. Now, keep in mind that 
these are channels over the internet. Well, if the internet is everywhere, that means that I am getting stations from everywhere. So I can watch soccer in England and whatever happened in Qatar, I, I, wherever the internet is, if they're broadcasting and it comes with the service package that I have, it's one of those 8,000 channels, I can watch that channel. $15 a month. Now, here's the other kicker. The way these IPTV subscriptions work is you pay for how many simultaneous connections you have. Simultaneous meaning how many devices you can watch at the same time. Now, see if I can make this simple. If you have three TVs and all three of your TVs are smart TVs that allow you to add apps to the TV, you can add the IPTV subscriber of your choice, whichever one you choose to pick. You can add that to your TV and then you have access to their catalog. Now, if your subscription says you pay $15 a month for three connections, that means three simultaneous connections. That means three people in your plan can watch TV at the same time, be looking at three different stations. You look at whatever you want to look at. They look at whatever they want to look at simultaneously at the same time. If a fourth person tries to connect on your plan, that screws up your plan. There are different places handle it differently, but you can't do that. If you're only paying for three subscriptions, only three TVs can be on with your plan at the same time. You can have a hundred TVs as long as you're not watching more than three of those at the same time. That's the way your prescription that I'm using an example for, that's the way it works. Now, a lot of these are Android based. So what that means is my particular plan allows me five connections, five connections. So that means I can be watching TV on my big TV in my office. My wife can be watching TV upstairs in the living room. I can also be watching TV on my Android phone. And I can be watching TV on my Android tablet all at the same time. At the same time. Now, they also have these plans for uh, Apple products. But I'm just using Android because that's the one that I know the most and I see the most. So I can watch TV and, 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 and I'll do this. Sometimes I'll leave the house and leave my TV on. Well, that's taking up one plan, but I got five. So I whip my phone out. I can be watching TV while I'm waiting in line at the DMV or something, whatever the heck. And uh, it doesn't affect my plan. Wife well, can be watching theirs. That's only three connections. I still got two free. I could let a friend use one of my connections. I could let my parents use my connection. So I'm paying my 15 bucks a month and they all get free TV. They ain't got to pay nothing. The only thing you need to have to look at this is internet access. So you would call your cable company uh, and say, I would like internet access. And they go, would you like our TV pack? No, no, no. Don't want none of that. I just want internet. Well, you know, no, no, no. Don't want none of that. I just want internet. That's all you need is internet. Now, I am going to show you this service works. If you got a smart TV, it works. But let's say you don't have a smart TV or you do have a smart TV and the smart TV is just not friendly. It won't let you download stuff or, um, you just, you don't like your smart TV, whatever. This little box right here, this little inexpensive box is an Android T2 
TV box. I can program this little box with any IPTV service that's out there. You can also do this, depending on the service you go with, with a Roku stick, with a uh, Amazon stick. You can, it does the same thing. They all work. And, and whoever you subscribe to, you know, you would check with them first. But whoever you subscribe to, you would find out if they have a plan that works on your device if it's not an Android box. They all work on the Android box. But this little box here, I think this box is going for 58 bucks now. Okay, so the way it works, this is basically the smart part of a smart TV, this little thing. This is the smart part. The TV is nothing but a screen at that point. So let's say you don't have a smart TV. You don't need one. There's your smart right there. This is the smart. It makes your dumb TV turn into a smart TV. Oh, man, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So that means all you have to do is be able to connect this to your TV. It turns into a smart TV. It connects via, let's see if y'all can see that, HDMI. HDMI. Notice it also has a network connection. It has a network connection. It also has Wi-Fi. So I can set this anywhere in the house that has Wi-Fi. Connect it to the Wi-Fi, and now it's got internet access. Then my subscription plan, I install it on here. I'm watching TV. I'm watching 8,000 channels. And it only costs me $15 a month. You'll find different plans for different prices. The best advice I can give you is a lot, pretty much all of these services, they allow you to try them out for like a week or a couple of days for free. You can download it, put it on your smart TV or put it on your TV box and check it out. If you don't like it, go to another one. I mean, you got, man, you got umpteen choices out there. There's so many of them. So that's the nice thing about it. What I tell people to do is whatever service you decide to go with, never buy more than a month at a time. Because if you like buy a year subscription, yeah, you're going to save a whole bunch of money. But what if you find a better subscription that has more channels, that has all the channels you want? Then you're like, oh, man, I'm in this plan for a year. Go buy the month. Buy your stuff by the month. That way, if you want to switch, you can switch. Hell, if the place goes belly up, you just lost a month. No, I ain't going to sweat $15. I lost way more than that in my lifetime. Boy, I'll tell you, I don't want to think about it. But uh, that's, the, that's the nice, that's what I'm going to tell you to do. Buy a month at a time. Don't look at the three months, six month, 12 month plans. Just buy a month at a time. If there's any loss involved, it's very minimal. All right. So, but basically, I mean, looking for the IPTV service that you want to try out, all you got to do is just get on Google. Like I said, do a search for IPTV. You're going to find 5 million links. You click on one. You read their website. Look for stuff like 24-hour tech support. Look for stuff like that. How do they, like if you have an issue, can you get someone at 4.09 a.m.? Is somebody going to answer me? Look for stuff like that. that. That's one of the best pieces of advice I can give you. Um, that, between the... Don't buy more than a month at a time. And the tech support, when you when you can actually get in touch with them, I'm lucky. Mine, I can get in touch with them 24 hours a day. They they have texts uh, or chatting, I should say. So if I have an issue, I jump on the website, hit the chat button, bam, somebody's answering. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Holidays, Christmas, it don't matter. Uh, so that, I kind of like that. But uh, the box that you need, these little... Android TV boxes, you can get this one on Amazon all day long. Like I said, 58 bucks, I think. But here's the thing about it. It comes with a remote. So you're going to control it just like you would control anything with a remote or a TV, for example. Uh, and let me show you some of the connections here. Let me see. 
Um, this here is an audio video out in case you wanted to run audio to your stereo system. Um, we got network. There's a network. You got HDMI and you got power. Now, on the side over here, look at this. On the side, you see some USB. Now, what that's for? This particular USB right here, this dongle that I've got plugged in there, that goes to my remote. That's how I control it, with that dongle. Um, let me make sure that's true. Oh, no, correction. Correction. That right there. Let's see here. You see that orange little design there? That is a Logitech unifying dongle. That's programmable. So I can take a Logitech keyboard or a Logitech mouse, control this thing because of, because of that dongle. Uh, Logitech, all of their devices now, you can program. Like if you lose the dongle, you just get another unifying one. They have the little, the little orange design on them. You get another one of those, and you can program it. And I have all Logitech equipment because of that. I mean, here's my, my Logitech MX mouse. Now, now I will say this: that's, this is a vertical mouse. See the way my hand sits on it. So when it's on the desk, I'm not doing like this, which which puts you know a strain in your arm. It's not a it's not a comfortable way to put your hand on a table. This, when you just lay your hand down, that's how this mouse is designed. It's a, they call it vertical mouse. This is a Logitech MX, $95, see? Man, they proud of their equipment, boy, I tell you. Logitech stuff ain't cheap. But that programmable dongle, that alone makes the price worthwhile. Because I lose dongles all the time, all the time. I just go grab another programmable one and get their software and just program it. And then whatever I was, whatever I lost the dongle to, it now works again. You do that with Microsoft equipment, you throw the equipment in the garbage. Once you lose the dongle with anybody else's equipment, once you lose the dongle, and this is what the dongle is, I'll pull it out of here, in case for some reason somebody doesn't know what I'm talking about. That little thing is the dongle. Once you lose that with any other brand, you have now created a paperweight. You just throw it in the garbage because you can't use it. You ain't gonna, if you ain't gonna, never going to find a, the dongle. Those things are easy to lose. Uh, so Logitechs are programmable. So that is that one goes to my Logitech keyboard so that when I'm setting one of these up, I don't have to use the arrow keys and move the block over to this letter, press it, move it down here, hit the capital, move. I don't have to do that. I just plug a keyboard up. <laughs> program done so uh that's why that's in there on top of that i can also use something like this now this puppy right here it uses a dongle too let me see if the dongle's in here uh well i guess you gotta yeah uh, if the dongle was in there, it'd be back here. I see it ain't in there. I'm going to go find that one. It might be plugged up to one of my boxes because I've got multiple boxes. Uh, but I could plug the dongle for this into there, and now this is my keyboard. It also has a mouse pad. So when I'm looking at the TV screen and I'm doing this, I see the mouse running around on the screen. That little joker comes in handy. It's got a full... Uh, full keyboard on it, full QWERTY keyboard, uh, so I can be typing. I can use this thing to surf the internet. I can use my Android TV box to surf the internet. Now, it ain't no screaming computer like my my monster uh, gaming machine. Now, it ain't fast at all. I mean, some of them are definitely different. There's a difference between these. Some are faster than others. You can get these for 200 and up. Uh, you can get them as cheap as 30 bucks, but uh, you get what you pay for. I'll tell you that much. But uh, I can put Microsoft Word on here and actually be doing a Word document. I can pull up the internet, uh, Google Chrome, and, and I can be surfing the internet with this thing right here, sitting in my lazy boy. With this thing right here. Like I said, it ain't the fastest computer, but it's basically a computer.
all right? It's going to make your dumb TV smart, all right? So, but uh, you can get these little keyboards to go with these and make programming them and using them a whole lot better than pointing the remote around. And because uh, some of the remotes, remotes come with like a, a Wii, you know how a Wii works? Where you move it around like so and the mouse will move on the screen like that. Some of the remotes on some of these, uh, this particular one doesn't. But uh, the nice thing about this is, aha, or change, I don't have to get up and leave frame. You can buy a remote that does just what I described and check out this. Check this out. It's got a keyboard on the other side. Yes, it does. Yes, sir. So, uh, and look, look, wait, wait, wait. That ain't all. It's got a mouse pad, too. <laughs> so, it's got a mouse where, like, I'm going to show you the button here. Oh, let me get it in the screen here. It's this button right here. That button turns the mouse feature on. And then I can do this, and the mouse will be doing the same thing on the screen. Or I can just flip it over and use this mouse pad right here. So, I mean, they, they, they got so much stuff. And this was, I want to say 19 bucks. Man, stuff is cheap now, man. It is cheap. Yeah, it wasn't too much more than that. Then they got all kinds. They got all kinds. Plus, it lights up, too. It lights up. Let's see. If I cut the light on. Yeah. I got the red light on. <laughs> Get it together there. I got the red light on. See, when I move it, well, I thought it was going to do it. Get it again. Well, it was working. <laughs> I hardly ever use this. That's why I guess I don't know how to use it. I know it's got a full charge. But anyway, it's got, it lights up. So, uh, them little bit keys hard for me to see anyway. But I, I use it. But, uh, Android box. Turn any TV into a smart TV. So with the cost of TVs now being as dirt cheap as they are, you don't have to go out there and buy the best smart TV. All you need is a screen. You buy the best TV box. It's a whole lot cheaper than the TV is. And then this becomes the smart portion of your TV, whatever TV you just bought. And then you can, man, you can put apps on this. You know, like right now I've got, uh, it, com it comes with a ton of apps. It comes with like Hulu. You just have to sign up. Uh, I think I put, uh, there's a free one. Uh, oh, golly. How do I forget the name of it? Something TV. Uh, I think I'm going to show you all my TV so you can see what I'm talking about. But there's free programs out there. There's free all kinds of stuff out there free that you can watch for free. Now, if you buy one of the services, you can check because they also have the local channels in your area. Some of the services do. I know the service that I'm subscribed to has all of our major local channels. So I don't lose anything. And even if it didn't, all I have to do is hook a pair of rabbit ears antennas up to the back of my TV and to the part where it says antenna. There's a spot back there that says antenna. You screw the little rabbit ears in there and you got all the local channels. So uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to I'm going to bring another video where I actually show where I do that. And I'm going to let y'all see what happens. Uh, but again, this is going to save a whole bunch of people a whole bunch of money. Because the cost of getting this was whatever this costs. I think it was $42 when I bought it. Uh, uh, so it was this plus whatever my internet access is, and I've got fiber. I got the fastest there is. It only cost me like 49 bucks a month. 49 bucks, just, uh, just internet only. That's all I need, internet only. And, uh, and then I connect this. Well, the way I wired my office, since, since my office is in the basement, I had it totally refinished, and I ran network everywhere because it's what I do. Uh, so... I plug this in via hardwire. And when I say hardwire, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, a network cable. I mean, you can see the jack. I mean, it's, it's a network cable. So I plug that in 
via hardwire. And so there's no breakup of the signal whatsoever. It's hardwired right into my system. Uh, but it has Wi-Fi, so you can hook it up via Wi-Fi. You put whatever IPTV service that you want on that box. Bam, if you're watching TV, it's real easy to do. It ain't. I mean, it sounds complicated if you've never heard of it before, but it's real easy to do. And I'm pretty sure you'll find 50, 100 videos on YouTube that explain how to do it. I mean, there's nothing to it. They're all slightly different, but for the most part, they're all the same. I mean, you just download whatever app that your IPTV service has. You just download it to this and install it. Now, some of the places they use generic apps, apps that already come on here or apps that you can get from the Play Store or the Google Store. They, they have those and you can just download the app. And all you got to do is input the data where they tell you to input the data, your username, your password. They'll tell you all kinds of stuff to put in there and then bam, it's working because not all the IPTV services have their own app. Just so happens the one I use has their own app. It ain't the greatest. I mean, there's better. I've seen much better. But uh, not everybody has their own app. But this stuff is real easy. It's It doesn't seem easy until you learn how to do it. And then once you do it, you're like, man, that wasn't hard at all. But the main nice thing about this, you see, I saw this. Now, let's see here. Do I got any pockets? Ah, got a pocket right there. Watch this. Is it going to fit? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to zip up. Yep. Look at that. There it is. Right there. There it is. If I go on a trip anywhere, I take this, the power cord, and an HDMI cord. I get to my hotel. I plug the HDMI to the back of the hotel TV, plug the power up to the power. I turn this puppy on, connect to their Wi-Fi. All my stations just went on a trip with me. I can sit there and watch just like I'm at home because there is the smart part. I got the smart part in my pocket right there. That's how cool this is. So for those of you who are tech savvy, uh, let's say your parents live in Florida with all the other gray hairs. Or blue hairs, I just got <laughs> but all the blue, the blue hairs. And uh, you want to send your parents this because they, they've got, maybe they just got rabbit ears TV. And they, ain't, they got like three stations, you know. Uh, you could program one of these and send it to them. And then they just hook it up. Now, they got all the TV stations you got. Just, you know, make sure your plan has enough for them to watch TV and you to watch TV at the same time. Man, I'm telling you, this is the way to watch TV now. IP TV, Internet Protocol Television, IP TV. It's TV across the internet, just like Netflix is movies across the internet. It's the same exact thing, except you got a heck of a lot more choices. Because these IPTV places, they have uh, all the channels, the same exact channels the cables had, same exact crystal clear, at least mine are, crystal clear, high definition. They even got 4K if you got enough uh, bandwidth to pull 4K, because not all of these boxes are 4K. Um, but... I mean, it depends on how strong your signal is. This, like I said, mine's hardwired. I, I hardwired mine so that I could, uh, I wouldn't have to worry about any signal loss. So, but uh, I got all the stations that I could want to watch. I don't miss, I get every kind of sports package there is. The, some of them have video on demand, you know, movies on demand. A lot of them have that. Um, like I said, all the sports packages, every. Not only do you get movie channels, not only do you get movie channels, but you get every version of the movie channel. So you get like, uh, for example, Stars. Then you get Stars Family. And then Stars whatever. I mean, you get every version of the movie channel. You don't just get HBO. 
You get HBO Nighttime, HBO S, HBO that Showtime. You get all of them for some measly price, man. I'm talking this measly, okay? And, uh, oh, man, you, you know, it, this is the way, this is the way to watch TV. Like, I've been doing this for years. Uh, I ain't looked back. I ain't never gone to cable. And now I got rid of cable because I went to fiber, fiber AT&T Fiber. So I've got fiber optic connection to the house. So that stuff's lickety split fast. Um, so I can upload, make long videos and upload them to YouTube. It don't take no time because I got a thousand up and a thousand down. Uh, but this is the way to go. So to recap, this little box here is the smart part of a smart TV. So you can do it with any TV as long as you can connect it to the TV. If your TV has uh, HDMI, you just get an HDMI cable, plug it up here, plug it up to your TV, you turn to whatever HDMI connection you plug this into, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, you put it on that channel, then what's on here shows up. Now, oh, I did forget one thing. I did forget one thing. Uh, a lot of people want to know, what well, can I record a TV show? that totally depends on the app of the service that you go with. Some of them make it where it's real easy. Just press a button. Some of them don't. Uh, the service that I'm with, they don't. However, I'm a computer guy. So I can use a service or an app like Next PBR. I put in all of the settings that I need for my service and I can use my computer to watch and DVR shows. I can set it up just like a regular DVR and it'll record. I can even tell it, I can say, if a, if a show has this in the name, it will record that show, whatever show it is. All I just gotta do is see that word in the name and it'll record it. And then, I can move that recording to, I have one sitting close. I know I do, because I got like a thousand of them. Is this one? Yeah. Removable hard drive. I can move this, or I can put the show on this, and then this has an, has an HDMI, not HDMI, has a USB connector. That's, that's some type of USB. And I can plug this into here and I can watch all the movies that I've put on here. So I use my computer to record it here or record it to my computer's hard drive, drug it over here, plug this into here, take it to my TV. Bam. I'm watching. Now, like I said, some of the services, all you got to do is hit a button and it'll start. You connect one of these up because this does have some space inside it, but in a lot. They never are. But uh, you hook one of these up to this, and when you tell it to record, you tell it, record whatever I want recorded to this. It's a removable drive. And uh, and I've got like a ton of movies on this thing. I've recorded all kinds of stuff. And so anytime I want to go watch a movie, I just plug that puppy into the USB slot on the back of that thing. And uh, I can pull up the movie with what program do I use? There's a program that comes on these that, for watching movies. Because the thing comes loaded. It comes loaded with a bunch of stuff. Uh, but you can add, I mean, like, you know, I have Netflix. It has Google on it already. It has a bunch of stuff already on it. Uh, but you can add uh, stuff to it. So to recap, uh, whether or not you can record stuff PVR style or DVR style depends on the service you go with and how their app works. That, so th these are things that you look into. This is why they give you a free trial. You can try it out for like maybe up to a week for free. Don't cost you a dime to try it out. And then if you like it, you buy it. If you don't, you don't. You can uninstall it. And uh, so it, it, it allows you to give yourself a trial run on whether or not you want to go with that service. And if you don't like it, you go try another one. And I mean, 
after about three or four, you're going to be done. <laughs> you're going to be like, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. Because uh, the amount of channels that you have out, you ain't never going to watch them all. You ain't never going to watch them all. Plus, the fact that they got so many versions, like ESPN, ESPN Deportes, ESPN U, ESPN 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, they every kind of ESPN there is. If there's a game plan somewhere in the world, it's going to be on your service. Uh, last of all, and this is in case you have any young ones around, some of these services come with X-rated channels. Now, some of the services you can order without X-rated, they call it adult, of course. You can order the service without adult or with adult. And uh, let me say this about the adult channels. Uh, there is no acting involved. They don't try to like, oops, I dragged the soap or whatever, you know. They, as soon as you hit the channel, and Oh, whoo. <laughs> it's like, good grief. They don't mess around. It's like, wow, a little too much for me. <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> so, uh, but they have that. So keep that in mind uh, before you buy the service. Now, you can't block those channels. So they, they do have, most of the apps have a way where you can block the channels where your kids can't get a hold of them. They can't watch them. But still... You want to make if you decide to go with a service that has X rated, you want to make sure you block them channels if you got kids in the house. Because, uh, whoo, <laughs> they are something else. But, uh, okay, so I think I babbled on long enough here. I mean, it's, well, it's 36 minutes, good lord. Uh, but to recap, IP TV, Internet Protocol Television, the, the, IP and internet protocol. Protocol is basically when in Rome, do as the Romans. Like, there are ways to do certain things depending on where you are. It is their protocol, how you're supposed to act. That's protocol. Well, the internet protocol is the way you put stuff over the internet or through the internet or on the internet. You have to follow the internet protocol. So these televisions, stations, use internet protocol to get their stations to this box. And uh, and then you can watch them on your TV. So it's IPTV, that's what that stands for. Um, these boxes, all you gotta do is a Google, or not a Google, uh, Amazon. Go to Amazon, do a search for Android TV box because they run the Android operating system. At least all the ones I use do. They run the Android operating system. And uh, so you do an Android TV box, and you'll see 500 million results. Um, the price difference that you'll see, the higher the price, most likely means it's a much better box. Never buy an expensive box if this is the first time that you're doing this. You get an old cheapy DB box, $30. I mean, this would be the most expensive I would buy. It's $58. But uh, you get a cheapy deep box. Try it out first. And if you don't like it, you always sell the box. Uh, but I ain't I ain't ran across anybody that that gave up on it. Once they got it, they was addicted. They cut their cable off. Hey, cable, cut that crap off. They was bad. They was they was gone quick. They cut that cable fast. And uh and then your uh cable provider, now even the cable providers are now doing streaming TV and and when you call them up and say uh, cut the TV package off they gonna want to know why they always want to know why um because they want to know if you're doing this now not that it's illegal or anything I, I mean it depends on who you go with I guess but uh what I tell them uh, what I tell people to tell them I say tell them that you don't want all that uh, Satan TV coming in your house all that devil this the stuff that's on TV today is just full of the devil and they'll hang up on you. <laughs> they'll be like, oh, good Lord, we don't want to hear this. You know, they'll, they'll leave you alone then. That's, that's what I tell people to tell them. Get them off, you know, go jo Jehovah Witness on them. <laughs> they, they'll, they'll get off the phone real quick. But uh, all you need is internet access. And like I said, you can take the box on the road with you. With you. 
So that way, if you know, if there's something, a TV show that comes on that you can't miss, you 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 married to that show for the week. Every week you got to see it. And you're on vacation, the show come with you. Bam, there you are. You can sit in your hotel room. You ain't got to go to a bar and watch the game. You can watch the game right there. You can watch the game right here. That's how you do Man, you know, you can lay back in your own hotel room because, you know, you're in a strange city. You don't want to be in some old rowdy bar, no telling, playing old crappy music or whatever. But uh, this is this is how I do it. Uh, I, I was going to show you my TV, but I had video long enough. I don't know, ranted and raved. If you have any questions, I'm more than sure that I'll be able to answer them. So just put them in the comment section. And uh, I'm telling you, wherever there's internet on planet Earth, you can take this. Now, whether or not that's legal or not, I don't know. Uh, but I know since the, I know the way it works, you basically you do that. Wherever if there's internet, that box will work. You just connect it to the internet, and there's all your TV channels just waiting to be watched. So, IPTV, this is going to help a whole bunch of you all who are on a budget, especially starving college students. Because y'all get free internet anyway. So, this is going to help y'all out. Because uh, the price of IPTV is, is dirt cheap. Some of them as low as five bucks a month for all them channels, man. Okay, that's crazy. But uh, this is the way the junk man does it. And I suggest y'all give it a looky look. All right. You can get VPNs uh, to put on this. You can run this service with a VPN. For those of you who don't know what a VPN is, it basically... Uh, it basically camouflages your location on the internet. It stands for virtual private network. So you can make it look like you're in Instabool, Instanbul, watching TV when you're actually sitting in Los Angeles. That's what a VPN does. Uh, so these services, a lot of these services work with a VPN. So for those of you techies out there who want to know that, Yes, you do have that option. So is that all I can think of? I think it is. So with that said, this is The Junk Man. Shining out.